Well, hi, Paul Benke here. And um, as I've mentioned before, you know, taking care of ourselves and really living the fullest life possible is not the easiest thing in this complicated world of ours. And so having a team of people to help us on that journey is really important. Today, I wanna to introduce you to a friend and a colleague of mine. Michael Krug is a certified health and wellness coach as well as a certified fitness trainer. And I've invited him here today to talk a little bit with me about what it is that he does. So welcome, Michael. Glad to have you here. Paul, it's an honor. Uh, thank you for inviting me to be a part of this. Absolutely. So now my audience is already, you know, somewhat familiar with the fact that coaching is, shall we say, a proven process that helps mm -hmm. people improve one or more aspects of their lives, that the real power of coaching is found in helping people uncover, frankly, what they already know at the core of their being, but it's so frequently hidden from view by, well, all those learned thoughts and patterns and habits and beliefs that we hold. Mm -hmm. um, but what I would really love to share with folks is your amazing journey into coaching. Could you tell us a little bit just about yourself and about the path that led you here? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, it's definitely a pertinent part of, of why I focus on what I do and, and, you know, the career path that I went down. So when I was 20 years old, uh, I was in college at St. Cloud State University, and I was coming off of knee surgery, the second major bone graft transplant, tr go, bone graft transplant surgery uh, in my left femur, actually the lateral condyle. And I remember going to the follow-up appointment at the doctor's office, and I stepped on the scale. I was 375 pounds. My blood pressure with a heavy dose of lisinopril, uh, blood pressure medication was, uh, I believe, 160 over 100. My cholesterol was in the 240s. Uh, I really, I dropped out of school at that point as well. And I was really, I was at a point in my life where I really didn't see any future. And uh, it was a very, very dark time. But also in that moment, I kind of had a, a realization that uh, the only person who was going to be in charge of me and my health and coming back to health and really getting my life back was myself. And, you know, I have created a practice where I really stand for your health being inspired by choice, uh, rather than being inhibited by chance. Uh, and really empowering people to find, like Paul said, those internal strategies when it comes to health and wellness that we intuitively and also, you know, through education know uh, is going to serve us and help us continue to live the best lives that we possibly can uh, through many different modalities. I, I personally, you know, focus on the, the meals, the movement, and the mindset that help us accomplish goals. So, that's what brought me to it. Actually, it was honestly, I was in uh, grad school and I had people reach out to me on social media on Facebook and say, you know, I've seen this transformation that you've gone on. Uh, how did you do it? And I, I was, I was, you know, in full-time grad school and I started coaching clients for free because I didn't even realize it was a, a real industry, a real thing. Uh, and then I actually learned that health coaching is this. So uh, here I am. <laughs> yeah. What an amazing story. What an amazing transformation of, of yourself, you know, mm -hmm. um, and being able to bring that to work with your clients. And I'm, I'm sure that must be an inspiring thing for them to experience. So I'm curious, tell me, who is it that you really work with the most? What's kind of the client that really fits well with you? Yeah. So um, from my own journey and, you know, people that I've worked with in the past, a lot of times I'm working with people who feel like they've tried just about everything when it comes to diets, when it comes to working out when it comes to trying to create a sustainable, healthy lifestyle. People have maybe yo-yoed on the scale who have been on and off back and forth because I really pride myself on, on teaching people and, and coaching people to find sustainable strategies that not only they can use for themselves, but also implement, you know, with their families, with kids, with partners, because we know that when it comes to health and healing and, and wellness, it, it really is a community phenomenon. It, it's something that starts internal and, and kind of goes external into those that we interact with. So uh, a lot of the people that I work with feel like they've tried just about everything. And then they figured out that there's a health coach out there who may be able to help them. And uh, from there, we, we hit the ball and hit the ground running per se, right? I always like to meet people right where they're at. Uh, and then we go forth and, and create a vision and make it happen. Yeah, great. So I know you, you mentioned the sort of the three M's that, that you work with, with mindset, movement, and meals. Mm -hmm. um, 
just curious to know sort of what are some of the issues that that come up for people around these that uh, you know fit so well with your with the work that you do with them. A lot of what I work with and, and people who I've seen success with too, they oftentimes you know start with the meals part. So oftentimes there's uh, some sort of void or something that they they have that's happened maybe in the past or that they're experiencing where they feel similar to how you work with people. Maybe they feel like they're not enough, but they just feel kind of an, an emptiness that they want to fill. And oftentimes, you know, even subconsciously, we're trying to fill those things with food. So recognizing that kind of root and where that's coming from, and then being able to transition that into, you know, more healthy and sustain, sustainable eating habits, whether it's, you know, choices of foods, whether it's quantities of food, there's a lot of different aspects and routes that we take. And with coaching, we know that uh, most everyone's journey to get to their pinnacle is, is, is different, right? There's not one road to get there. Uh, when it comes to movement, like Paul mentioned, I'm a NASM certified personal trainer. Uh, I create workout fo programs for my clients. I do group training. Uh, I also help people with functional movement patterns. And then two, the most important thing, and what I tell everyone when it comes to movement is you must find movement strategies that you enjoy. Because I mean, for me personally, my example, uh, I do not like running. I've probably run less than 10 miles in my entire life combined. Uh, and if I had someone try and tell me that I had to go run a bunch of miles to get my health back, I, I would just never do it. So really discovering what is sustainable and then making sure that when we're doing that activity, we're moving in the proper way so that we can move longer. And then really with mindset, you know, similar to meals and movement, we are always trying to find the things that are going to be sustainable in our lifestyle. Uh, I really, you know, I go through a vision creation process with, you know, which is similar to probably what you do with your clients as well, but creating your wellness vision, creating longer term goals, um, you know, anywhere from three months to 12 months out, and then weekly experiments that are, you know, breaking that goal down and, and taking steps in that direction. Because we know that having that long guiding vision is really important, but also having the accountability of the weekly goals and, and really setting small scale things that we know we can accomplish that's going to get us to that vision in the most efficient route possible. So it's a multi multifaceted approach uh, and it's, a, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Michael, for explaining that. And I think, you know, for, for some people, the idea of, of ha having to work out all of a sudden brings a furrowed brow and this is going to be hard work and I'm not going to like it, but it'll be good for me. Or if I need to go on a diet, I'm going to not get all those things that I like and I have to sort of, suffer through meals that I don't want. So I loved hearing, first of all, that you need to find a movement that fits with the person, that feels good to them, that is inspiring to them. And I happen to know personally that when, when it comes to food, you love good food. And so oh, yeah. finding a diet that works, that is also tasty and interesting, mm -hmm. as well as being good for us is also important. So I have a feeling the people who are lucky enough to work with you get the best of sort of everything that goes on. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, I mean, uh, another thing that I really is important when it comes to my practice is that uh, restriction often can lead to down the road further issues, right? So recognizing that in any sort of diet, you know, allergies and sensitivities and intolerance aside, uh, there is place for things like maybe ice cream here and there and pizza, right? Uh, we got to be able to live a very balanced lifestyle while making the choices that we know are gonna serve us best in the long run. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Michael. And thank yeah. you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. You know, I know there are many out there who can benefit from working with you. And I'm just curious, how is it that they can best get a hold of you and find out more about your practice? Definitely, yeah. Uh, all the information that you will would need about me and my practice and who I work with and what I do is at my website. That's coachkrug.com. So coach, has how it's spelled in my last name, K-R-U-G.com. There you can find, you know, the blog, the podcast, uh, my contact info. Uh, and really, that's a, the best place to connect with me. Um, it's, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, great. I was going to say, I, I will make sure to include that, that link with this video so that it's easy to click on too. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And Paul, thanks again, too, for inviting me to, to be here and be able to speak to your, to your list or your, to be able to speak to your audience today. Uh, it's definitely a pleasure. And, uh, you know, 
when it comes down to it, I know that we all have the capacity to, to accomplish the goals and, and the, the visions that we set for ourselves. So uh, I just thank you again for the opportunity to share the word. Oh, my pleasure, Michael. It's always, always great talk, talking with you. Thanks so much. And I look forward to talking with you again soon. Take care. See yep, you. Thank bye. you.